Are you frustrated right now and you don't know what to do with it, so you clicked on this video to try to get some relief? I can help. Let's talk about it. My name is Caitlin Foss. I'm a certified life and weight coach, and I help professors reclaim five hours of their week every week for themselves. And processing emotions like frustration saves so much time. Let me explain why. Let's imagine you're frustrated because an administrator sent an email that says something in administrative speak that you're just like mm, instantly frustrated because you're thinking they don't understand me, right? Like even notice my body when I get frustrated, it's just like, oh, they don't get it. I'm already overloaded. Why are they doing this to me, right? You're like generating this frustration for yourself that you don't know what to do with. So what you're doing right now is complaining to a colleague, you're trying to get relief, but it's not working. You're ruminating in your head. You start to beat yourself up. You're judging yourself. This spills over into the evening. If you let the frustration build up too much, now your husband gets the brunt of it, your partner, your kid, right? Like other people in your life that you really love and cannot, uh, like won't mind if you release the frustration on them, like they get to see this, okay? Instead of, in that meeting or in that moment when you had to face the administrator and you were just very like serene, like, mm -hmm, can't wait to help with that project. And, but then on the inside, you were boiling. That's part of why it shows up with your family later. Ask me how I know, right? I spent years in this mode of people thought I was calm and serene on the outside. And then if you check in with my family, they'd be like, oh yeah, we had to hear all about that. Or she like let it out on us and it wasn't even related. It wasn't fair to them, but I didn't know what to do with it. So I was trying to recover my time. Like I had to repair relationships. I spent a lot of time in the hallways complaining. All of this, I've been here, I promise. I know what you're going through. There's a much simpler way. And so that looks like catching yourself when you can. Can you catch yourself complaining? Can you catch yourself uh, wanting to explode? right? Can you catch yourself like ruminating or judging yourself in your head? That's the moment to say like, wait, here I am frustrated. Wait, where is this in my body? Can I identify where it is? I couldn't do this for a really long time. I always like, we can see it on camera, right? You can see it clearly for me that I'm like this when I'm frustrated or caved in but I couldn't feel it or recognize what was going on. So somebody in your life might be able to see your pattern or you may be more in tune and be able to feel it like a closed off feeling. Something, you know, if I'm at my desk like this, it's like, oh wait, what's going on right now? Back it up, relax, take a deep breath, right? <laughs> so it's like, oh wait, here I am. Gonna like remind myself, this is only because I built up a story about what's going on right now. Okay. I'm not going to try to change the thought on this. I'm not trying going to try to get away from frustration. What I really want to emphasize right now is not thought swapping your way out of this. Like I should think something nice about that administrator's email. Too late. Too late. You already had this thought and it's already here. So can we process it out? Take that deep breath and pay attention. It'll dissipate faster. So one of my clients describes this as kind of going in with a spoon and gathering up the frustration, flinging it out. And then it's done. And there's no explosion on the partner later or late, you know, at the end of the week. Do you ever reach the end of the week and you're like, oh, I'm exhausted because you built up too many emotions. So you're not actually exhausted from the physical week, probably. There's physical exhaustion and emotional exhaustion. But if you reach like Friday, Saturday, like, ugh, this is the worst. You just built up frustration throughout the week. So the secret here is to like keep releasing the emotions throughout the week. Like, oh, administrator email. And I think they don't understand. Here, yeah, okay. I feel you, brain. I know what you're doing. Let's release that back out and move on. You save time doing this because now you're not going to be re re trying to repair relationships. Uh, that you had exploded on somebody, you're going to spend less time complaining to a friend or a colleague, you're going to have space to feel other things and to get back into your productive, curious, open feelings. That's when you get your work done. 
not from the frustrated place, not from the bottled up place. So that's why I want to talk about frustration today. Uh, this is the work I do with my clients. If you're ready to work on processing the emotions like frustration that are coming up for you again and again, reach out. I'd love to help. I hold the space for my clients to have a safe space to be able to do this work. I'm here for you. I'll see you soon.